Hello friends, I'm going to show you how to start making your landscape picture and your hero character out of construction paper. I have my glue and my scissors um, and I have all my colored paper and some of the patterned paper and I've already started to cut out some buildings. Um, my hero is going to be a superhero in the city. So first I have my paper. And I'm going to put my name on one side and then flip to the back. And when you start this, I want you to do the background first and then go to the foreground. So for my background, I decided to take this pattern paper and make clouds out of it. Um, so I'm going to use my glue bottle. I'm going to do little dabs. We don't want big dabs because we don't want a big mess. And I think I'm going to put that cloud there. And I cut out this cloud. Put this one here. And then I also made a moon. And I'm going to put my moon right here. Uh, maybe I'll do one more cloud. So I'm going to take my pattern paper and on the back I drew one already, and I'll cut that out. You want to be careful and gentle with your cutting, and try to follow the lines that you drew. And I think I'll put this cloud hmm, right here and then I already cut out some of my buildings out of different colored paper I'm gonna start with the biggest one first add glue to the edges you don't need to soak the paper in glue number one that's a waste of glue and number two it might dampen the construction paper and when it dries it might be kind of like uh, it might turn wavy or not not flat not crisp so try not to use a lot of glue I think I'll put this big building right here and I have an orange actually start with the bigger ones so this big purple one I think we'll go here Again, you don't need a lot of glue. Don't be wasteful. I think I'll put this tall skinny orange one first and then I'll put the green one in front of it. So now I'm layering my buildings. Okay, so there's my city. Now I can make my hero. Um, I'm gonna do gray for the face. So I'm gonna draw, draw his head shape and his neck. And cut that out. I'm gonna you see how you see the pencil lines. I'm gonna glue it down this way so you don't see any pencil marks. So there's my head. Um, I found this cool pattern paper, so I'm gonna use this for his costume. So I'm going to turn it over, I'm going to put my head here, and then I'm going to design the costume around his head. So shoulders, arms, body, um, and 
then I think I'll give him a cape too. Actually, I think I'll make the cape a different color. So here's his shirt. pretty cool okay let's do the cape a color that matches his shirt so I'll get a dark green that's a pretty cool color for a cape I'm gonna put the shirt here so now I can measure how big the cape should be so I'll draw the cape flowy and then cut it some pants. How about blue? <clears throat> so here's his cape and his shirt. So the pants. Like that. So you always want to measure the clothes. So use the head first and then draw and cut out a shirt based on how big or small the head is and then go from there. And then how about some yellow shoes. So here's my pants. So now I know how big or small to make my shoes. And remember, keep a trash pile and clean up after yourself. Throw away all the scrap paper and trash. If you have any paper that we can still reuse, keep it in your basket or put it in the uh, recycle box. Okay, let's see what we have now. So, oh, hair. We need hair. How about some electric orange hair? So, if my head is this big, I'm going to give him spiky hair. So I use my head to measure how big I want the hair, and now I can cut this out. Okay, perfect. So first, I'm going to glue the hair to his head, okay, and then I'll grab the shirt, a little dab of glue, you don't need a lot of glue, put the neck behind the shirt, and then let's do the cape. You can have him standing, or me. I'm gonna angle him like he's flying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him right here. 
like he's flying through the air. Now, what are we missing? We're missing hands. Let me grab some gray again and draw hands. I want you to be careful when you cut out hands because the fingers are really small. Take your time. Oops. Or maybe I could have made him wear a glove so I didn't have to draw out each individual finger, but that's okay. One hand. I didn't glue the sleeve down all the way and that was um, good because then I could pick up the sleeve and put the hand underneath it so it looked like the hand was coming out of the sleeve. Okay, eyebrows. Uh, maybe I'll just draw on the eyebrows since I don't have I don't have black with me black construction paper so I'll draw on the eyebrows um, some ears I'll just cut out some ovals for those one two Two small little dabs. Um, maybe I'll draw the nose too. Some white. I didn't grab white paper, so let's do green eyes. These circles are very hard to cut. Take your time. If you need help, raise your hand and I'll help you. make him smiling. And if you think of anything else, any other detail for your picture and for your hero, go ahead and add it. There's my crime fighting hero in his city. Oh, and one other thing I could do, I could add windows to my buildings. Maybe I could add flags on top of the buildings or cranes, any other details. 